Hello, 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 everybody. We are back. We are back. The show is called TBR SF Show, <clears throat> which simply means the Big R Solution Sports Forum. It is myself, the Sobri Boys, Wale Fatsi, together with Saddam Make. Saddam, welcome to the show. <clears throat> Uh, thank you, comrade, and thank you to listeners. We are here. Let's continue and listen, and then a happy Saturday to everyone. You know what? You are a very busy man. Uh, but <clears throat> let me be honest with you. You are a very busy man, all right? But at the same time, one thing that I like about you is discipline. You are so disciplined. Um, <clears throat> discipline is important in anything that you do, in any in any post that you find yourself in. Now, let me just indicate why I'm saying you're so disciplined. We do the show. If you are not available, you'll make me aware, notify me that uh, I'm not available uh, today. I'm busy with this and that. But over and above, you try by all means to be on the phone. You, 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 you make it a point. I know that today you have a very hectic day. You are organizing uh, the supporters for Bafana Bafana game and, and so that. Banyana Banyana. Uh, yes. Banyana Banyana. You see, <clears throat> and this is what I tell people. You know, people don't understand what discipline is. I say to people, when they say to you, start work at eight, if you come at quarter pass or 20 pass, that's ill discipline. You need to be there by eight. You need to make sure that you are working. If you are working, you need to account for each and every minute that you spend. So big up, keep up the good work and don't do it only to this show because you know uniformity and consistency is important. So maybe that's why people like Safa, Kaiser Chiefs, whenever they organize, they always rope you in. Uh, it's the level of discipline that you show. And uh, I'm not saying this because I see you. I also tell the other guys that I work with to say, you know, Saddam is so disciplined. He'll always tell me if there is a problem, but he tries by all means to be on the show. The other person who's very much disciplined is the Sheikhs. You know, Mangoba, if he doesn't uh, able to show up, you'll let me know. Sepang also does. You see, this is what I, and keep up, keep up that way, Saddam. It goes a long way, all right? It has nothing to do whether you're getting paid or not. Let me tell you this. This is what I tell people. If you're not getting paid, you need to be more and more disciplined. Because once you are disciplined, your discipline will buy you freedom. And once people start realizing that this person is committed, money will come. One will, money will be a bonus. That's all I want to say. Saram, welcome to the show. I want us to talk so many things. Firstly, I want you to announce what are your plans for today before I go to uh, the topic of today. Yeah, as you say, I've got a lot of things to do. Anyway, uh, I'd like to appreciate what you said. This is mean soccer is a sport. Is a, soccer is a uniting people. So that's why I always get busy. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, on Saturday, uh, the meeting eight o'clock with the uh, area manager at the uh, checkers mall. We're talking about transport. Wanyana, 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 Wanyana play at Sakani Stadium against Botswana. Kick mm. off three o'clock. Mm. Ticket are for free. You move mm. around at the stadium, they give you a ticket. You go to Sasol Garage, you get a ticket for Wanyana, Wanyana, because Sasol is our mm. sponsor. So, Wanyana, uh, Wanyana, with a farewell mm. on, 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 on Sunday. They're mm. leaving uh, on the between five and six next week. Mm. They're going to uh, uh, Australia. Mm. So now I'm busy with that one. I'm also busy with the issue of Afana uh, Afana. They play Kwasafa Cup mm. in Devon on the five mm. until the 16. Kwasafa, mm. you know, Kwasafa every year they play. So it's in Devon. I must go to Devon as well. So those things are active for the site. It depends on how you work at it. If you love something, you must do it. I always tell my son, cellular, say, try your best, go to do the rest. So mm -hmm. if I wake up in the morning, I know what I want to do. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't want to disappoint everybody. I'm not a cheap talk. I love to deliver. So okay. thank you very much. So, but uh, uh, let's continue another issue. Yeah, keep keep up the good work. Saddam, we have a pride of uh, of Tembisa, Akane Simbini, 
Uh, he's my he's like my son. He's my son. Let me put it that way. He's a friend of my son, Frank Casino. They are very good, good friends. He always come to my place here. And guess what? He's a he's a he's a he's a messy he's a he's in a messy stable. <laughs> oh, wow. He's in a messy okay. stable because uh, he is um he is um he's sponsored by Adidas. All right, <laughs> just like mm -hmm. Lionel Messi, you know. And and uh, look, uh, he has win many hundred mid kilometers. Okay, Ostrava Continental Tour time, and then he broke that record with he won it with nine point ninety eight second. You know, it's not even a, a minute; it's nine nine point nine eight seconds. You know, uh, the other day I was saying, champ, I, I want to see you now going for Usain Bolt as uh, record. Um, yeah, but I'm very proud of him. And then uh, for the first time, we have a serious athlete in, in South Africa uh, who goes to Olympic and keep make us proud. And not only that, he's all over the show. He's a very good uh, person, in person as a person. Fortunately, I know his parents have worked with the mom uh, because you are all from educational fraternity. I know his dad, very cool level headed people. Uh, the mom was a principal at some point. The mom at some point called me to come and talk to the teachers there about financial matters and then uh, just to give them advice. <laughs> so that's how the relationship goes. And then, uh, yeah. So, but uh, here I'm talking about sport. He's a very good athlete and I'm happy for him. Keep up the good work, uh, champ. I don't know whether you want to say something, Saddam, or Nakana Simbini quickly before we move to our topic of the day. No, thanks to hear that is a good thing. He must continue. Well done to him. Then we will support him in the other way around. But I'm, I'm supporting all sporting coach. It, mm -hmm. uh, this is good for, for, for people. Thank you about that. All right. Uh, look, uh, Saddam, um, we know that uh, this week it was very hectic. A lot was happening, uh, especially under the issue of um, um, the appointment of um, Mulifinseki as the head coach for Kaiser Chiefs. It, it caught a lot of people by surprise, but what really, really surprised me was uh, to see even former players uh, specifically today, I want us to talk to what Lucas Khatebe described. Um, I listened to Lucas making his comment, very honest comment from him as somebody who played football, as somebody who understands football. And then I also listened to Junior Khani. Um, You know, you cannot just put aside everything that he says. I always say football, it's a game of opinion, all right? And people have opinion and people are entitled to their opinions. So I listen very carefully. Now, this is what Lucas, Lucas, if I listen to him very well, he says the blame should not be put squarely on the coach. He said it's high time that people should look somewhere, all right, rather than uh, the, 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 the coaching staff or taking our staff. Mm -hmm. Now, Junior Haidt, he argues this way. He says, Kaiser Chiefs, they last had a good coach with Ted Dimitri. All right? He said, after Ted Dimitri, they hired Ernest Medilov. That's when things started to go out of hand. That's Junior Haidt. He said, uh, Ted Dimitri was playing a very nice football, Cassie football. Ted Dimitri appeared like somebody who understands Cassie football even more than our own players. You know, the tiki taka football. Then come Ernest Mirindov, play long balls, blah, 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 and so on. Now, that's part of the argument. Now, Lucas was saying, maybe. We need to start looking beyond, all right? Then in our WhatsApp group, I have a, a fellow, a friend of ours, Peter Matsimela. I saw him coming out very strongly, a very staunch Kaiser Chief fan. I grew up with this man. 
He has been a cheese fan ever since I've known him. He knows me. I've always been a Jomo fan. Uh, we would go to stadium, they'll go to cheese, I'll go to Cosmos side. Um, you know, even today, he's still Kaiser Chief. You know, Victor Matsumela has put a very compelling argument. He said, if you look at Kaiser Chiefs and compare it with Orlando Pirates, with Orlando Pirates, there is a straight line. You can see that straight line. Well, I don't know. Remember, he's theorizing. He's not sure. He's not close to what is happening in the boardroom. He's giving his opinion from wherever he sees it, from where, his point of view. He says that Pirates, you can see that the coach reports to Screamer directly. Screamer directly reports to Dr. Ivan Cause. Then he said, and Chiefs, Yes, we know that the executive chair or the chairperson, the head, is the Dr. Kaizam Tau. Then he said, thereafter, below, you don't know what's happened. There's a lot of confusion. Now, Lefa Kosha once said, at Kaiser Chiefs, you could see that the management is not united. And that disunity spills over to the playing ground. We heard rumors that uh, uh, Kaiser Jr. was being accused that he brings his friends. Abba is his friend. They were they were playing mate. And then uh, all the people that he brings in are his friends. Those are rumors that we hear. And then others, they don't believe that Abba was supposed to be a head coach. Yes, we know that they were talking to Nabi, according to rumors. And then we thought that they were going to finally sign Nabi. But now all of a sudden, that was not done. That was not done. Last week, our topic was whatever that is happening in the background, in the background, will not affect Kaiser Chief when they have to start with their preseason and prepare for the new season. Hopefully, whatever that is happening is not going to have an impact to what is happening in the field of play. Now, having listened to a veteran of Kaiser Chief, which is Lucas Ratebe, uh, who said, uh, you know what? It's not about taking that stuff. Lucas does not have, he doesn't sound having confidence in, 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 in Mzeki. He says, I'm not saying he's a bad guy, but Kaiser Chief is a big brand. He gives them that credit. He's a big brand. They don't need a coach uh, who will beat about the bush. And then he was even saying, probably could have even considered Pito. Remember, Pito was out of contract not long. And I read something whereby Pito said, I was not approached. You see, no one has approached me in South Africa, and so I, I went somewhere else. So now, we, under those circumstances, well, I know that you're a chief, sir, all right? And I don't want you to go on the wrong side of Kaiser Chief, but I want you to give your, your opinion. <clears throat> Feel free. If you if you want to defend Kaza Chiefs, do so. I don't have a problem. So I'm just giving you the background. You know, it's just a pit. I don't have other guys to bring the other side of the argument. Okay. So it will be me and you. You'll give your opinion. I'll give you, I'll give um, another opinion that I pick up. So Saram, come in. What's your take? <clears throat> uh, comrades and listeners and supporters, I think. I hear what you said. Remember, you're talking about veteran, that is uh, Lucas Kadebe, legend, that is the Fat Kosha, supporter, official supporter, that is Saddam, former players, that is Kanye. Those things, when you put together, I hear everyone got their own opinion. So, my opinion is since I joined Kaiser Chiefs in 1970, there's many coaches who have left in front of me, the good and the bad and the right and whatever. I can mention them the whole day, but what Kaiser Chiefs is doing mm. is their own, because soccer is a business. Kaiser mm. Chiefs is a business. So we can't say yes or no. We like it or not. Some other thing are beyond our control as supporters. Mm. Because somebody was asking me, are you sick with if and sick is going to be okay? Mm. Uh, at Kaiser Chief with Arthur. I said, I don't know, but Arthur was working with him at Bafana ba before. I said to him, uh, if Mulifi 
was good or he was trying to defend the chief's uh, victory when we lost. He's supposed to advise us maybe when we have five games left or four games. Uh, uh, we must support, support, but you can't uh, support me if maybe you need a job. You can't support me if you need uh, something. But if you will support each other, mm -hmm. whatever uh, uh, chiefs win from his advice, there will be the same chiefs, everybody will be happy. Mm -hmm. But now he, he, they say he's a head coach. Mm -hmm. As I was a head coach, mm -hmm. I don't know what is going to happen, but they want to put the combos. Head mm -hmm. coach is a, is a, is a thinking, assistant coach is a, a, a shepherd and a shepherd and an answer. Mm -hmm. So I don't know what is going to happen. Maybe uh, if I hear something, because now everybody is still wondering, getting angry, supporters, they say, no, it's no good, what, what, everybody's put them. I think by Tuesday, we must continue with this topic again. It's the way I can tell you 100% what I think. Now, it's still a lot of things. I can't mention a lot of things because Chief is, is, is still busy going to announce everything. New players, mm. uh, coach, uh, new sponsors and everything. So mm. I don't want to be on the Kaiser Chief before. Mm. They're going to make an announcement next week, Tuesday. Mm. they done or not, I will tell you, but today, not so much 100% I can put my head on the block and say Chiefs are right or wrong. But main mm. issue is he was appointed as a head coach. Mm. Then I hear what Lucas said. Mm. I, I hear, I don't want to talk about Junior. I'm talking about what Lucas said. Mm. I hear the mm. statement that he said. This is mm. opinion. Mm. Some others, they will agree. Some others, they disagree. But at the end of the day, mm. he was talking about what he sold, what he think it is. Because he played for Kansas Chiefs. He knows about that one. So mm. we we know a long time ago mm. when uh, uh, Chairman Mutawun said, no way people uh, can, from uh, a local coach can coach Pirates and Chiefs. People, they mm. say, no, uh, Chief doesn't want to pay a local uh, player, doesn't mm. want to promote local coach. Mm. He does that to the other coach, like we see Combedan, whatever. We lost, mm. he does that to Asa and others, and Doctor and others, mm. Mm. Dina, but mm. People they forget the same people. They say no, get a local coach. Local they coach, say no, yeah. we need uh, 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 some. Mm, mm, mm. You've got a point. You've got a people point. Uh, You've got a point. Let me put about Peter. I, I hear when Peter and I hear when Peter. I hear when Peter said he never be approached about the post. He can't mm. send the uh, CB to to ask the job. Yes, Peter. Mm. He knows his story. I know. I know about the one. When I come to the uh, Nabi, Nabi was coming with about five people, him plus four people. Just imagine, let's make uh, something up because I also put on the group, but I hear people that were not happy about that. Mm -hmm. Number one, uh, the head coach is going to get a car allowance, is going to get a house, going to get equipment, phone, laptop, salary. Mm -hmm. Each of them, there are five. How much is it going to pay per year? Mm. Get money for five people. If he, he comes with maybe uh, assistant coach, that will be much better. We understand. But when you come with five people, each people they're going to need a house. You can't put them same place like a guest house. You're going to keep them there. No. And if everyone they must get their own uh, 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 house, own equipment, own mm. salary, and everything. I know mm. about that. I'm not trying to be in case that you, they mm. can do that because all the the clubs, they know how to work about financially coaching and everything, mm. but mm. it was too much for five people five, uh, with, with their CV to come there. It's going mm. to be like a, 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 a Tanzania a group. So mm. I, I'm not saying I'm rejecting. I hear that people complain, but I said, how are you going to take? Mm. Uh, Peter always, when he goes, he goes his people. That we understand, but not mm. a, a local. Mm. Around uh, uh, Africa, Peter can mm. do whatever he wants. Mm. But not here in South Africa. In South mm. Africa, we'll be surprised. People were mm. surprised when they see Sundown coach. But today, we said, let's give local uh, coach a job. But now the money is going to go mm. abroad. We need mm. the money for South Africa, uh, mm. a product to get the money in South mm. Africa. Mm. Now, tell me, um, tell me, l l l I just want to, to find out from you a, a quick one. Um, What's your take? Um, 
Um, what's your take about if I give this argument and say um, the former players, remember the position that Arthur was in. Everybody was envy to be there in that position. All right? And they'll never say, you know how people are. All right? Uh, they will be your friends, but with their own agenda. And you have mentioned something very, very interesting. I don't want to go there. Mulifi was working with Arthur, and they were talking. Arthur at some point called Mulifi to Bafana Bafana and all that, you know, so that relationship. But I'm saying you have former players. You know, sometimes former players, when they talk, you wonder whether they talk because it was a question of envy for the position that Arthur find himself in. Moreover, we know that Chief is a big team and probably they wanted themselves to be in those positions. Uh, maybe it's, 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 it's those. But um, if I listen to Lucas, I think, I don't think Lucas, he was talking from that position. I think Lucas, when I listened to him, I think he, it was from his own perception, his own thinking, his opinion, as somebody who played football and the way he understand it, all right? So, which I didn't find it very wrong for, 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 for me, for him to say what he believes in and then as his opinion, all right? Uh, I think he's entitled to his opinion. And Junior too, well, I think he's not uh, ambitious to be a coach and then will respect their views. But I still believe that uh, apart from that, we still have a lot of players, former players who really wanted to be there and then, uh, of course, those will be daggers who would be working either against Arthur or Mlifinsek. What about that statement? Am I correct in that uh, analogy? Or maybe I'm, I'm, I'm reading too much. I, I just want to hear. So that we move on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, so sometimes people must understand that it's a political statement. It's like when you go to the parliament, they talk mm. about vote. But mm. That one is good, and it's good. Also, jealousy system for the others. Mm, uh, mm. If I can say to you, comrade, how do you think you are a, you are, you, when you are my leader? Tomorrow, mm. Nagwa says, when I'm mm. a leader, change the position. It's like when you do a screen swap with your, your, your cell phone, same mm. number. Mm. But how, we say we learn? Mm. How, how do you know? Arabia in the other way around me and you, personally. Mm. How is she be How do you know it? Maybe they were chips was trying to or what no two the fire was there, mm. was putting parapen on there, but but no but pointed uh uh how do you know that maybe maybe uh as I still gonna be head coach? How do you know? But I about announce what was our no uh they tell us when the mulipinzigi is a is a head coach. How do you know maybe because as as I was a head coach, today we were as I um demote I got us a bit assistant. I think it's gonna work. I be in the in the township work. It does have it on to me. You are not gonna take sick driver when all owner cows are the boom patella and then kick a bumper magic take sound after one year for the regular takes. Can you come to me and say, yeah, or I get our classic cage with our grand bumper? No, you're gonna say, oh, no, that's your duck. So, as a game born and none keep working, why was a regular as a player as a bottom? A coach, a palo, and then a toil, but whatever I do upon the heart. So, one battle and see you only anything come on. So, how do you know that the good of our country or a south of country of our coach? We don't know, but maybe the one about Timamulo, maybe the native, maybe the head coach, head coach, I don't know. Sometimes, and then maybe in the other way around. Scarab, they are clean, maybe other side. Nagi Monogari, that's why I'll tell you on Tuesday. All right. All right. Now, uh, people out there, uh, please just tell us, like, comment, what do you think? Uh, do you agree with Lucas Hatebe? Uh, people start, have to start to look somewhere now instead of looking at the technical stuff. I know a lot of chief supporters is quick to say Bobby Mutaung and all that. He's a fall guy. Uh, but at the end of the day, Dr. Kaiser Mutaung is the last man who should take the rap. I don't know whether uh, Lucas... His, his insinuation is about that, 
to say people should now start looking at Dr. Kaizam Tau. But what about this argument? I think this argument is relevant. When Chiefs want players, the price are being inflated. Because that's another argument. Uh, you find a player is costing so much, but when Chiefs wants that player, it goes up. What about people who are arguing that no player from Golden Arrows goes to Chiefs? They go to Pirates. No player from Chipa United goes to Chiefs, go to, uh, to, to Pirates. So are you saying those are not issues at play? And when I countered that argument, I said, um, when I countered that argument, I said, maybe Kaiser Chiefs need to look at development, which is something that happened with uh, with uh, with uh, with um, uh, Barcelona, that's what Barcelona did. That's 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 what Barcelona did. All right, that's what Barcelona did uh, when they realized that they cannot uh, compete with Real Madrid when it comes to the market. They they focus on La Masia. Currently, we are told that La Masia is one of the big, big, big project that brings a lot of money to uh, Barcelona. And of course, we know Messi. Messi is the biggest player that has ever been produced by uh, Academy uh, to, 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 to this day. And then uh, Kaiser Chief have having a development for many years. Farouk Kat was there. So many people were there. But... Uh, to my knowledge, to my remembrance, the last good players were Tabo <coughs> from that development. Um, there were quite a lot of good players that came out there. I'm sure in TMR Peak and all, and all that. But recently, we don't see that. What about that argument? The argument that when Chiefs want players, they are being outpriced. All right? But I'm saying Chiefs also need to shift. They have done well in terms of the village. The village is the best project. That is why Pito was saying is one of the biggest, one of, one of the two good projects in Africa. All right? And uh, we know that the president of Al Ahli adores Naturena. I think Dr. Kaizam Down should take a step further now and start focusing on development, start hiring the right people in the developmental sector. People will produce. I'm told that Sundowns has a very uh, complicated technical staff, overseas people, uh, very highly qualified, and you see the product are coming out there from that uh, arena. So that's that's the argument. But now let's hear what you say uh, as people out there. Maybe you also have your own argument. Now let me move on and say to you, uh, Saddam, I want us to discuss Power Rico. It's our local tournament. They have been launching this uh, tournament, which will be playing at uh, at uh, Pumulo uh, grounds. Uh, I'm sure can you can see this. Can you see this? Yes, I can yeah. see. It was launched on Thursday. As you can see, the guy second from left is Power himself, and uh, Musa Netanyahu, and the Swalos coach, and then the Muteto. Is it Muteto, uh, former Chiefs player? Is a is an assistant. So those are the, that was the launch here in Tembisa. And then uh, this is the cup that we're playing for. And then, uh, so on Thursday, there were there was a draw, uh, which took place there. And then uh, I'll show you that draw, what happened. And then uh, here are the fixtures for this coming game, uh, this coming afternoon, uh, starting from nine this morning. And then the Young First, uh, first FC, will be playing uh, in Matawe Ling, uh, Shakers, and Spain will be playing Red Devils. So those are the games for this afternoon. This tournament is going to start from the 1st up to the 29th. And then uh, Pumulong, I know that you are busy, Saram. They also play tomorrow. And then um, the other games are there. And then I don't know whether you want to say something about these games. Yeah, I can say uh, from Pumulon around Tembisa, Ikurulen, please just move around and support the Power Rico competition. It's a right when it's at the township. We want to see people going there to support the event. It's a good one for today before we leave tomorrow. I think uh, I also 
maybe when I finish early, I'll move around and go check there and give them my support. Mm, mm, mm. Support yeah. to go there and give them my support. Yeah, they need they need our support. This is a local uh, organization which need uh, all our support. We need to support them, and then uh, yeah, and then they've done well. I know that the people who are involved there, uh, our premier in Houting, Mr. Panyaza Lusuf, is one of the people who's involved in this tournament, and then um, they work closely together with uh, Power. So um, yeah, so we wish them good luck, and then uh, see how far can they go. And then I'm sure there is another game again tomorrow. Uh, I'll share that fixture for tomorrow uh, so that it's not only today that I'm showing. Um, let me also show tomorrow's games. And then, um, yeah, so, yeah, tomorrow, here are the games tomorrow. Uh, the Rocks FC, they're playing down many young Chiefs and team of choice. They're playing uh, Offense Sports FC. Uh, Umlilo, they're playing Easy Lamlilo FC. And uh, Musa United, they're playing Footy Footy FC. So all this is happening at, uh, at uh, Pumulong Sports Ground. And then uh, look, here are the sponsors, as you can see. Banyaza Lusuf is the power Rico. I've shown you power. And then I'm told the games will be on DSTV. It, it is key challenge. So yeah, so this is a um, quite exciting, exciting uh, project. Kasi uh, Tiski is a is a is a is a is a is a, is a, is a tournament that keeps uh, the Kasi people uh, entertained and then taking our 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 kids away from wrong things so that they can focus on something that is positive. Otherwise, they end up being uh, what you call victims of not necessarily victims. Yeah, victims of Nyaub and other stuff that is happening. We know Premier Banyaz al Suf is one guy who's very, very uh, against the issue of uh, uh, players or kids being involved in drug abuse and so on. It's a very good thing that needs to be encouraged. And the other thing, this tournament people don't see, they promote a township. You know, Tembisa today is one of the townships that is known uh, back in the days when I was growing up, when I was telling people that I was from Tembisa, people were like, Tembisa, where is that? Because people knew only Soweto, you know, not only other township would know. So this is a very, very good project. And then down here, Saddam, if people want to learn more about the big R, they can just go to our website, which is www.tbr.solutions. Uh, While I'm still there, the big R solution is a financial company. We are going out there and help people, especially those people who are 55 years and above, who are members of GPF, and then they want to pension or they want to resign, but they are afraid that if they resign, remember with GPF and government, you must pension at the age of 60 and above. If you pension earlier than that, you get penalized. So, and then the penalty is huge. It's 0.33%. Uh, from the month of your resignation to the month until you you reach uh, you, until you reach uh, uh, sorry sorry about this Saddam uh, until you reach the the, the age of uh, of, uh, of of sixty. So now people are afraid. Can they leave? All right. If they don't, they are not going to experience it. So if they want to know and learn, they can approach us. They can drop us a WhatsApp. We'll show them how to avoid those penalties, one, and we'll show them to save on taxation. They will be taxed, but a minimum, at minimum rate, all right? But those are the issues that we assist. Now, just go to our website, go to our Facebook group, go to our social media, you learn more about the Big R Financial Services or the Big R uh, Solutions as a, as, as a group. Now, uh, Saddam, um, I'm sure um, we, we you, as you say, yeah. You are busy going up. And then, uh, yeah, I also now want to share the Messi special before I leave. But uh, there are a lot of news happening in Europe. And Mason Mount finally, finally, <laughs> Mason Mount finally has joined the team of his choice, uh, which is Man United. And then uh, Arsenal have bought, uh, uh, what is um, rice? You know, people have been looking for rice. And then it was a record-breaking uh, payment, uh, apparently one 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 hundred five million pounds. 
for Arsenal. Arsenal, they don't break the bank, but this time they've broken the bank. Arsenal, it's going places. They've signed now Havertz. They've signed uh, uh, what you call uh, Rice now. And last year they nearly won the league. What's your take? What 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 do you think? Do you think Arsenal this time they are going to be a team to be taken serious to take the league? What's your take, Salam? Yeah, I think Arsenal, uh, they must pick up the pieces and continue because what happened last uh, last season, it was nearly win the league, but it happened. But now they must stand up and, and make sure they groom the team, they go forward, they forget about the past, maybe mm, mm, something mm. can happen. I think uh, Arsenal was good, young players, young coach, everything. But they mm. must organize themselves to continue. Maybe something will come on the season and they can win something or whatever. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, no, you know, Arsenal, they look like a, a team that means business uh, uh, this season, uh, this upcoming season. So we are watching the space very closely and then uh, want to see what's going to happen, you know? And then, uh, yeah, and then the teams are beefing up. But look, listen, I don't know whether you see. I still said I'm going to do a show on Saudi Arabia football. Uh, Barcelona, they've lost one of the players that they wanted, uh, who's now going to <clears throat> Saudi Arabia. Everybody's going to Saudi Arabia. Uh, they are being offered the huge money and so on. Ronaldo said, Cristiano Ronaldo said, he said, I won't be surprised to see a Saudi Arabia league being one of the top five in the near future. What's your take? Do you agree or disagree? Yeah. 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 They're going to win, they got money, they can do that. All the players can go there because uh, they got uh, uh, everything. That's why Ronaldo can say that. Mm. Yes, we wish them good luck because to get the players from different countries, to, to see the players play at uh, South mm. Arabia, don't be good because they'll be any something, they get experience, they'll be okay. But uh, uh, people might not complain because uh, maybe they're going to be like sundown here. Mm. 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 Saudi Arabia might be good. End of the day, we want to see all you uh, TBR Salvation Group on day for the show. It will be good as well because we want to know what is uh, South Arabia capable for. Taram, pass our greetings to your friends in Germany. I know they will watch our, sh our show. And then thanks to them for watching. Let them spread the word so that uh, more people can watch in Germany. And then, uh, yeah, now I'm going to the message special, which is my favorite part of the show. This is Ray Hudson, one of the uh, ardent, ardent support of Lionel Messi, just like me. You know, I'm a very ardent support of Lionel Messi. And I'm still saying nothing will stop him to win the eighth Ballon d'Or. If he doesn't win it, that'll be another daylight robbery, as far as I'm concerned. And then uh, uh, Ray Hudson says the world knows that Messi belongs on football planet with population of only three, uh, it is Pele, Maradona, and Lionel Messi. In for my money. In other words, in his rehearsal, in his words, it's only Pele and Maradona and Lionel Messi are the greatest. So Ronaldo is not even featured there. You see, he said Messi's achievement even eclipsed them, even them, the so the 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 the, the, so, the world genius and the values Lionel Messi. He said even these two, Messi is better than them. Well. Uh, I think I can agree to that. Messi is... Yes, I've seen Maradona. He was a genius. You know, Maradona used to play like Jomo. And then, uh, but for me, Jomo was even better than Maradona. That's me. Because Jomo would use two feet. Maradona would use only one. All right? And uh, But that's the debate for another day. I saw Jomo. I followed Jomo all the way. I followed Maradona. I watched him uh, very close. The person that I didn't see is Pele except the, 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 the footage that I see, the old footage. So yeah, this is Ray Hudson, <clears throat> one of the Messi's followers. Look at this guy. This guy has won 15 play, uh, player of the year in Argentina. 15, 15. You know, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Who has won player of, the, player of the year in a country like that? In South Africa, we don't have a player like that. In, in, in England, we don't have a player who has won so many there are 15 of them. Then in terms of goal scoring in Argentina, look at the numbers. He's leading all of them. 
with 103 goals and he's still playing. And then a buddy stood out 54 is the second. And then Aguero 42. And then a Crespo is 35. Maradona 34. Uh, Huguain 31. Um, uh, Di Maria 29. <clears throat> and then um, 24 at times 24. Liquid 22. And then uh, Passarella 22. And Messi still play. He still play. And the other part that is really, really positive. Messi is no more a striker. He's coming from deep, from the middle field, but he's still scoring goals. So that's a message for me. That's a message special tonight. Saddam, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Like I said to you, keep up the good work. Heads up to you. And then we'll watch the speech. On Tuesday, we'll talk more about the subject that we're speaking about. And then maybe it'll give us more news. And then that's it. Thank you very much. I know this that topic is very difficult for you because of your proximity to the Kaiser Chief Management. So, yeah, sometimes I put you in a very tight spot. But, uh, you know, Arthur is my friend. It's difficult to talk about this subject because of the, well, for me, I still support Arthur. If you ask me, I would say they, they should have kept him. That, that, that's my opinion. All right? And I'm entitled to my opinion. They should have kept him. Arthur should have continued. And then uh, that's me. All right? I may be wrong. And then uh, let me hear what are you saying. Yes, I know, of course, Chiefs fans are not happy. They were not happy with Arthur. But I know sometimes coaches, if they are given enough time and then they will rectify their mistake, they'll go back and see. And, and But Chiefs also, you cannot blame it. Chiefs is a big brand. They have a pressure. Sponsors wanted to see them winning. Sponsors don't want to be associated with a team that is losing. So I feel for Dr. Kaizam Tau. It's tough for him. All right? And then the other argument that I've also given that when Chiefs want players, they always uh, get prayers, uh, prices being inflated for them. Not only that, uh, we see, like I've, I've said, we have rarely players from Golden Arrows go to Kaiser Chief, player from Chief United go to Kaiser Chief and so on. I don't know what's happening. I'm just giving what I see and I observe. And then I say those are the challenges. But I say there's another option for Dr. Kaiser Tong, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, there's another option. She says my connection is unstable. Um, there is another uh, option, which I say they must focus on the development, but I don't know whether a sponsor will be ready to wait for that. But that's my opinion. That's how I see it. Thank you very much, Saddam. Just be the viewers farewell. Yeah, yeah. 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 all the TV and solution show. Uh, we'll see you soon. And then uh, on Sunday, we'll be at uh, tomorrow. We'll be at uh, Sakani Stadium, kick off at three o'clock. Mañana, mañana, besos con Joana, es el farewell day. Kids uh, team support us, let's give our team support, our players, and then uh, under the leadership of Nziggy, Shepard, and of course, Asa, Tenterable One. We will give them a support. Thank you. Thank you very much. Much appreciated.